AP, New York, following the Federal Reserve's most recent increase in interest rates, which is intended to bring inflation under control, stocks are drifting on Wall Street on Wednesday. S&P 500 trade in the afternoon was down 0.4%. At 2.26 p.m. Eastern Time, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 330 points, or 1%, at 33,755, while the Nasdaq Composite was essentially flat. The Fed increased its benchmark interest rate by 0.25 percentage points, as anticipated, to the highest level since late 2007. In the Fed's wave of rate increases since March, this increase is the smallest of its kind. What Fed Chair Jerome Powell says later this afternoon is perhaps more significant for the markets than the rate increase on Wednesday. But the Fed has been emphatic that it won't drop interest rates until 2024 at the earliest and wants to keep them higher for longer to prevent inflation from festering and igniting again. The economy is at risk and many investors believe that it will most likely follow one of two directions, either a very brief and shallow recession or a much longer and painful one. Stocks rallied in January on the back of growing optimism for the former, giving the year off to a solid start. However, a third option is also viable, according to Rich Weiss, senior vice president at American Century Investments, the scenario in which inflation erupted again in the 1970s as a result of the Federal Reserve's premature easing of interest rates. In an effort to stifle inflation, higher interest rates try to slow down the economy and drive up the cost of stocks and other assets. The Federal Reserve has already raised its benchmark overnight rate from practically zero at the beginning of last year to a range of 4.50% to 4.75%, which is the highest level since 2007. The labor market, which has held up well despite all of last year's rate hikes, is one factor affecting expectations for the Federal. While this strength benefits the workforce, there is concern that it could result in excessive salary increases that feed inflation. However, a different report from the American government suggested greater strength. According to the report, there were 11 million job opportunities in December, an increase over the 10.3 million that experts had predicted. On Friday, the more thorough report on the American labor market will be released. A study from the Institute for Supply Management, which stated that U.S. manufacturing declined by more than anticipated last month, added to the economy's murky picture. The contraction has continued for three months in a row. Following the release of the ADP report, which may have increased anticipation of a looser Fed policy, Treasury rates dropped before pairing their losses in the wake of the other reports. Wall Street is still experiencing a disappointing earnings reporting season as more mixed profit results from major American corporations arrive. After providing performance predictions that fell short of Wall Street's expectations, Electronic Arts stock plummeted 11.8%. According to analysts, given the weakening economy, some gamers may be becoming more choosy. Paper and packaging business Westrock saw a 15.7% decline after revealing lower-than-anticipated earnings and revenue for the most recent quarter. Additionally, it cancelled its projections for this fiscal year, citing economic uncertainties. Advanced Micro Devices was the winner, rising 9.6% despite a 98% decline in profit from a year earlier in the fourth quarter. Results exceeded experts' expectations. European stocks had mixed results on international markets. According to data released on Wednesday, Europe's inflation rate decreased in the beginning of the year, which was good news for consumers. However, prices are still high, which has led to several protests and will probably force the European Central Bank to raise interest rates again on Thursday. After polls revealed that manufacturing activity in China recovered in January but is still tepid because to sluggish global demand and COVID-19 outbreaks that interrupted business, Shanghai's equities increased 0.9% in Asia. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe.